it says we the people. America is currently fighting three major battles. The pandemic of COVID-19, the economic devastation caused by COVID-19, the most deadly and longest lasting is that 400 plus year epidemic of institutionalized systematic racism throughout our country. None of these can we allow to progress any further if we, we the people, hope to survive. I've been asked by countless, uh, countless times by friends and colleagues, what can we do? And my answer is very simple. One, first and foremost, vote. That is where our power lies. Two, have an honest dialogue and recognition that racism continues to exist in this country. Until we honestly acknowledge this fact, we cannot begin the hard work of addressing and correcting it. Three, reject inequality and hate of all kinds. Yeah. Four, Hold on to the promises of hope for our future and the promises of hope for our children's future. Five, be inspired to reach out to a neighbor that doesn't look or maybe even not sound like you. It is hard to hate someone you know and appreciate for who they are as a person. Through grace and kindness, we will we must heal and come together uh, through this process and do it together as a community of one. Stay safe, keep calm, and remain engaged in your own way in helping to make this country a better place for all to live and to prosper. Right. So allow me to leave you with these words penned by the English poet and Anglican clergyman John Newton which was written 248 years ago in 1772. Amazing grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind. But now I see. Blessings to you all. Thank you. Woo!